Alright, what is going on guys, it's Apollo one and today I have for you some pretty sick Black Ops 3 information and includes an image. So, today what happened was we got our first image of Black Ops 3 in game. Now, this was kind of a surprise very, very early for something like this to come out. And uh, here, the image I actually am not going to include on screen, I'm going to put it down in the description below, so I would recommend right now going down there and clicking it. But on this image, the first thing I want to point out is the perimeter, the border of this image. It's kind of that orangish, fiery Black Ops 3 uh, kind of theme that we've seen throughout a lot of things so far, um, especially on that famous Black Ops 3, just the three numbers that keep coming up at the end of all the trailers that we've received, where it's kind of like fiery and it's kind of flaming and stuff. It's very, very cool, very good marketing. Uh, but we can kind of see this around the border of this image, which tells me that this is most likely some kind of poster or promotional thing that at some point is going to come out. This is all that we have of this image. I don't know where rest of the image is, but uh, it's pretty sick. Now, to take a look at the actual image. Now, first off, let's start with the soldiers on the left side. The first thing I notice are the weapons. The weapons look like some kind of assault rifles that both men are using. Nothing too fancy there. The guns don't look too futuristic or anything like that. Um, now, we do know that this game from the Ember teaser trailer that we received yesterday, which didn't really show any in-game kind of footage, but was kind of made up to build this up for what we're going to be seeing and what we're going to get in Black Ops 3 and uh, in that trailer we we know that they have some kind of these guys are no longer just human they are cyborgs which we did a video on a while back I will link that down below uh, but yeah they are cyborgs and in this image the first thing I saw was exosuits and that's kind of frustrating and a little scary I don't want exos to return personally by the way if you want to vote on exosuits I will leave a link to a tweet on the Carnage Clan Twitter where you can retweet for no exosuits and favorite for exosuits uh, it's kind of like a little poll it's very cool I would definitely recommend going in there over there and voting also following the Carnage Clan Twitter uh, that'd be greatly appreciated I'll, once again I'll leave that link down at the top of the description but the more I look at it it doesn't really look too much like exosuits there isn't like a huge pack on the back that we saw uh, in the exosuits in Advanced Warfare now we could see since this is in the future we could see some kind of modified exosuits it doesn't have to be the same but I think this is more of prosthetic limbs we can see that the uh, arm has some kind of shoulder pad and then it goes down to uh, kind of like a bulkier arm the arm kind of gets bulkier um, just below the shoulder and then it kind of stays bulky and kind of looks robotic for the rest of the arm which tells me that this is some kind of prosthesis or prosthetic arm so uh, that's kind of what I'm seeing at this point now if you look out into the distance we see some kind of soldier his legs are kind of spread open he's kind of has a stance where he is shooting uh, some kind of powerful weapon and he looks like he has a full body suit on some kind of gear or armor complete armor um, from what I can tell uh, I can't really see his face so it looks like he has some kind of helmet on full faced helmet that's kind of interesting interesting as well. Uh, then in the bottom right corner, we have some kind of drone that could potentially be some kind of kill streak. It looks like it has wheels on both sides, probably moves very fast. I don't see any weapon on it, but I, I could just be, I just see one side of it. So uh, the weapon part of it could be on the other side. But that's very interesting. And then of course, guys, in the background, we see some kind of behemoth just standing there with uh, two sides to it. It has missile launchers. Really, it looks really futuristic, but honestly, guys, we have things that look just like this in today's age. Uh, maybe not the two legs. It looks like it has two kind of legs that will be able to make it move kind of more like a robot or human uh, on two feet. But that's the only really futuristic thing. The upper part of it, having two sides, two missile launcher sides, um, that's things that we have nowadays. So don't get too scared about that. And most likely, this is just going to be campaign. So anyways, guys, it's pretty exciting. Obviously, we have the official Black Ops 3 trailer coming out on Sunday, which is going to be a campaign trailer. But obviously, it's going to tell us so much the weapon the time period which we kind of know is around 2065 um, and just that kind of stuff it's not going to be multiplayer multiplayer trailers don't come out and until August about that time so anyways guys hope you're having a great day drop a like on today's video subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are new for more great videos like this obviously in the background you saw probably a Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2 I apologize Black Ops 2 nuclear gameplay so hopefully you enjoyed that as well uh, but definitely guys subscribe for more Black Ops 3 content and uh, lots of other great videos that I guarantee you guys will enjoy so if you're new definitely stick around anyways guys hope you have a great day and i'll see you later